Now it's time to put the skate of the clothes on. Make another layer and load the opacity. I will put the clothes on. So have a good look about the clothes. This man he has the scarf, right? The scarf put around first and have the scarf. One kimono inside with the tie balls in here. He is wearing a hakama, I guess. And he has a coat outside like this. Okay, now we're starting. You must know what you will intend to draw first so you will know what you will do next so the scarf in here will drawing later because it will uh, outside the moss and we will start with the thing that inside first that is the kimono in here the black kimono the kimono they are like this right you must understand about this and then they will put it like this in the body one is there and one will go into there so same for him so the kimono neck in here will have the firm look and will stand like this so you will have the stand here make sure that the neck in here is rounding so you have the round look like this right but this one, they are hiding behind the neck, so you will erase this one. And inside this one, let me zoom in a little bit from here. The inside, they also had a kimono inside, so that kimono is really going to there. And this will wrap the neck now because it have the tie in here around the waist so I will draw first the line the curve line in here because your body is round right so I will draw the curve line in here for the tie and I will put the bows in here when you tighten it you will have the bow you will have put the square for the knot uh, the squares in here you make it look curvy a little bit and then you see how the bow will look not only you have a bow look with this, but uh, when you uh, use the silk, the, the fabric to um, tighten, this will go with the gravity and low down a little bit, so it will be like this. You see the shape, right? And now, I will make a little bit detail about the bows in here. The bow will have like this. You, when you tie the bow, it will have a look like this, right? So, because it's slowing down, so this one will make a sprinkle here. Then you are done the tie belt, and because this kimono is kinda large in here, and they are tightened by the um, the tie belts in here, so it will floating, yeah, go with the gravity, and it will go down here like this, right? Put the step in here.
So now we are done with the kimono, the upholstery here. And next is will be the Hakama. I won't draw this part because it's not a game character that I don't have to draw on the clothes in here. It's really a lot of work and I'm too lazy, so I won't draw this part in here because it will be covered by the coat outside there. And now I go with the Hakama. The Hakama is in here, you can see that they have a large, like a large trousers in here. And you will start to part with like this, just like the skirt. Yep, like this. Curve line. This will be rounding. Remember, rounding like this. And um, because that I want to it to have a look like scary and have a little bit windy so make it float a little bit so that's it how the hakama will be look like this will be like this have a um, line like here and now from there and now the windy is coming and because the hakama is firm it's not silky it's like in the in the same is here in the upper body so because it's thin so the wind come from and will go like this then you are done with the hakama next will be the coat go back to the coat it's a large coat and the coat in here will go to have the length around there so I will make another layer so I won't make a mess with the hakama that I just create and put the coat on this will be from there the neck is here and it's not showing it didn't have the firm neck so I don't have to draw the neck and start with this one because it's a, how a little bit windy so it will be going to there and have this one uh, this slide look like have, have a thick coat so it will also have a firm look not too much floating and like this same in here so now we start with the arm follow it I researched a lot about the kimono when I draw this one and you will see that the lines will be there, right? I think it, the shoulder is the upper a little bit and not relaxed, so I change it a little bit here. And then you see when you're showing, you will have the lines in here. And the when you have your arms lifting up a little bit, it will make a sprinkle right there. So let's be like this. And the, the arms in here of the clothes is will be going to be like this. So that's why you will have like this and windy. I will summon a little bit wind here. And now you erase the part that you don't need anymore. Then you are done with the coat. And I merge them down by holding Ctrl or Command and E. I create a new layer for the scarf. The scarf is wrapping around his neck and is a look tearing a little bit here. So it's wrapping around his neck like this. Let me lower this layer a little bit. This will be wrapping around his neck like this, right? That's how it's supposed to have look. Then you are, I will move it to there to have a look, basic look about the scarf. Now I'm going further, enjoying this. Put it in the shoulder, and the shoulders in here is hiding, and 
and there will be have a sprinkle right there and it's floating to there with a little bit windy as we go to here that's how the scarf will look like now I tear the scarf a little bit and make it You are done with the clothes in here. Next is the shoes. He is wearing a sock with a straw slipper, straw sandal, right? The fit here is will have a curved line, so put the curved line to there. Because he is really soft, so I won't roll the toe anymore. And now I will zoom out the pictures and erase the part that I don't need anymore. Now you come to really near to the end of this picture. You have a good sketch about this. And I think that the pose is changing a little bit here. Um, I think it looks better, right? Well, the head is kind of small, so that's why I must tell you that you must have a detailed sketch and you can have a good look at this and change it a little bit. Now, I will use the transform to move down some parts. Okay, now you are done with the sketch and I will add in the short. Okay, here is the short. Let me lower this one. First you have the circles in here. Use the simple set. Triangle, rectangle and curve it a little bit like this so finally it's in here and I erase this one let me check if I think it is satisfied about this or not I think the source must be going to there and so that's why the hands must changing the positions around here so if the hands is around here then the clothes must be changed a little bit this. Oh, I will erase the part that I don't need anymore. And there you are, our final sketch. Next, we will do the line art.